Okay. So now we we'll start our second lecture on orthographic rejections. First case was when in solution for drawing front view, top view, and side view in first angle of projection, our object lies in first octant. Now I, I will say octant, not quadrant. So for drawing side view, we need third plane. So that third plane is profile plane, which divides that quadrant now into octant. Now, first case was when the isometric view only 30 degree lines will be there. That is the first case. But now, this line is not 30 degree. These are the second cases. Right? So, this all lines are 30 degree except this plane, which is not at 30 degree. So, in solution, you have to draw other than horizontal and vertical lines. This is second kind of problem. Inclined one. Planes will be at some angle. Like this plane is some angle. Right? So this is its front view. He will say draw the uh, front, top, and side view in first angle of projection. First angle of projection means the object lies in First octant. First angle of projection means object lies in first octant. Right? So first we will draw its front view, then its top, then its side view. So for drawing its uh, in first angle of projection, first we need to draw a light. Vertical and horizontal lines. So first, this is the front view. We will decide we have to draw its right side view or left side view. If this is its front, so this is its top view and this is its right side view. We have to draw front, top and right. So, right will be drawn on left of front. So, this is the positioning. Front, top, and right. So, we have to draw these three views. In first angle of projection, first we have to decide the positioning of the views. This is very important. Orientation of the views, positioning of the views. This is the fixed positioning of front, top, and side view right side view will be drawn on left of front left side view will be drawn on right of front. but in this particular case you have to draw a right side view because right is visible left view is not visible so we will draw front top and which side view right side right First, we draw its front view. So, from front, you will see this surface and this surface. Only two surfaces. Are. This is not visible. This and this only. This will be visible from top and right side. View. So, first, you have to draw the front view. For front view, for symmetrical, uh, 20 mm above. Uh, or 15 mm above, 15 mm in front of this line. Put a point here, 15 and 15. So this point is this one point. Right? This point is this one. From this, this, to this distance is 50. Or it is horizontal line of 50 mm, 5, 0, 50 mm. With a height of 60 mm. This is height of 60 mm. So this is the outlines of this as rectangle as front. 
This is 50 and height is 60. So 50, 60, right? Outlines. Now, from front, you have to divide this rectangle into two surfaces. This one is, say, A and this one is B, right? So there are two surfaces as A and B, which will be seen from its front view. Right? So to divide this surface into two surfaces, we have to draw this inclined line. Now this inclined line is not horizontal or vertical. That's why this is second case. Right? Now from this corner point, so this is from the corner point, from this corner point till this point, so from base it is 20 mm. This is A and this is B. This distance is 20. Right? So you can write its dimensioning like this as 60 and this as 20. This is 20. This is 60 and this as 50. This is its front 50, 60, line line, which is above its base from this corner with 20 mm. It is given. Right, so this is its front view. Any doubt in its front view? You can write in the chat box. Any doubt? Right, so this is its front view. Now we will draw its top view. Top view will be drawn here in alignment of front because. Top view is like this one. If you hit this object towards you, or observer will see this object from its top. Now, from top, you will see C surface and B surface. Again, two surfaces. But width will be 40. And this length is 50. So, 50 will be in alignment with its front view light. Projectors. This is one dimension common in the successive view 50. Now, again, for symmetrical purposes, 15 mm this side, 15 mm this side, this side, draw a point. So, this point is this point. Now, draw the outline of the top. This is 50 and this is 40. Right? This is 40 given. 20 plus 20, 40. So this is outline of the top view. Now you have to divide this top view into two surfaces, B and C. Right? So this is front, this is its top. So D comes up, C comes below. But this is 20, this is 20. Now, I divide this surface like this. This is D and this is C. So from top, both D and C will look like same. Right? This is 20, 20. is given. So this is its top view. Any doubt in front and top? I have explained this why right is in left. 
you can watch previous lecture on youtube the page the positioning of the views the front top right on left left on right this is while rotating this is vp this is hp rotate hp clockwise 90 degree so front is above the top right this is profile plane so left view left view on this this is profile plane so profile plane we will move Like right hand thumb rule like this. So on right of front there is left view, right? Then vice versa. On left of front there is right. Is that clear, Lokesh Kumar? Now we will draw its right side. View. Now oh, for right side view, this is right side view. So front sixty, right side also sixty. One dimension is common in front and right also. So you have to draw the projectors, light, straight. This is sixty. Front height uh, is equal to right height. One dimension is common. Now this. Forty is common in top and right. This forty, draw a meter line, forty-five mm. Oh, sorry, forty-five degree. Then from this point, project parallel line. Then again parallel line. In this way, you project this forty onto its right side view. This is the method. This line is called meter line, which is forty-five degree. This is forty-five degree. Forty-five degree. Now this is the out line of the front view. Now, oh sorry, right side. From this. You will see this P surface and C surface. Again, two surfaces will be seen from the right side view. C surface and E surface. C will be common in top and right side view. E and C will be seen from right. So E surface. So if you draw this line, now you can take. This and this projection from this one. This is like 20 mm here. It will be like right. So this is again C surface, and this is your E surface, visible from right side. This is its right side view. So this is front, this is top, and this is right side. So no dimension is I think left. So two times twenty, twenty, sixty, twenty, sixty, twenty, and fifty. So no need to write any dimension on its right side. View. Any doubt in right side? View? Is any doubt you may ask? Right. So no need of writing this A B C because this is just for your understanding.
not write any a b c d so that is just for your understanding so this is the final solution of this problem this is front so this is right so right side is visible we will draw right side left is not visible Now this is a solution, right? Complete solution. You have to draw like this. Now. This is your second case when this surface is not isometrically. Isometric means thirty degree. Means in the solution, only this line is inclined, vertical or horizontal or vertical. This is second kind of. This is when surfaces are inclined to HP, right? For symmetrical purpose, this is total thirty, total thirty, thirty mm between two. This is in our hand, right? He will not give you above HP by this and in front of HP or VP. He just simply give the three D object and you have to draw its front, top, and side. If we ask you to draw only front, then just draw its front. If we ask you to draw front and top, then just draw front and top, and do not go for its side view. Right. So this is second case. Now we will move to third case. Third case are uh, circular walls. First, I will draw the isometric view. These are the two through holes. First, at its elevation. Second one, at its base, with a diameter of twenty mm. Phi means diameter. So there are two through holes now.
so this is its front we write front as x he can write as x simply with arrowhead or he will write arrowhead with x or arrowhead with front writing front right now there are two through holes right now if you see this as cylinder this is its front view as rectangle the front view of any cylinder is a rectangle and top, top view of this is a circle right if you draw its front view of any cylinder is like this and then front view is a rectangle now for its top view that will be a circle now this is the circle center this is center line 10 3 10 3 10 3 line right center line you have to draw the circle right so this diameter equals to the width diameter is equal to the width from its front view right so this is front view of any cylinder and this is top view of that cylinder if that is resting on hp this is its position this is front view this is top view any doubt in front and top of this cylinder any doubt front and top view of this cylinder any doubt yes sir so the mentioning of this cylinder will be its top view then right by 20 by this leader line this is called leader line 45 degree this line is at 45 degree leader line second way is with two arrow heads like this you can write like phi uh, then no need of writing this phi this is simply 20 phi means diameter right two this is first way right of dimensioning this is second way of in terms of diameter right for radius capital r 10 this is first we in terms of radius This is diameter. This is radius. Then second way for radius is from this to this. This is no need of writing R. This is ten. From center to radius, ten. This is second way for dimensioning any circle in terms of its radius. This is for diameter with leader line. i think it's circumference from outside this is diameter no more need of writing phi here because it is clear that this is this distance this is second one in terms of radius r10 or from center to touching its circumference and no need of writing r here just write 10 radius right so this is general rules of dimensioning for any circular object any doubt in this how you dimension any circular object 
this center line you will draw 3 mm small dash and larger one is 10 mm the gap between 3 mm and 10 mm is 1 1 mm this is center line represents axis this is 3 mm gap of 1 mm 10 mm then 1 mm gap 3 mm then 1 mm gap 10 mm so 3 10 3 10 3 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 with a gap of 1 mm this line is called center line will be used to locate the center or for its axis of any circular object these are general rules for dimension any doubt in this dimensioning of any circular object this is general practice pi means diameter r means radius any doubt right so this is general now we will draw the front of and side view of this object now if this is front now you will draw front top and left side view front top and left side view is visible so you will draw front top and left now left will be drawn on right of front first draw that cross so now you have to draw left side view left side view will be draw uh this side that where you will draw the front right now left view on right of front left view will be drawn on right of front this is front this is top and this is left side view on right of front right so this arrow head direction of front will decide this positioning of wheels if arrow head is in this direction then you have to draw front top and right side now this arrow head is from that direction then you will draw front top and left side view so this is left side view on right of front this is very important first step depending upon the arrow head direction you have to decide which view you will draw front top and side right we have decided we will draw front top and left this is a unique position now first we will this is your first case if you remember last lecture this is your first case without the holes without any holes first draw considering there are no holes just draw as it is its front its front will be in what at l without holes i am drawing This is a watered L as front for top. This is its top without any holes. Left side view, interline. This is its left side view without any holes. Right. So this is your first problem. If there were no holes, through holes, grilled holes, any doubt in these these three views? Yes, we have already done. Say yes or no. Any doubt? any doubt you may ask otherwise we will draw with these two holes right 
now we will draw for these holes of diameter 20 right now for this hole so this uh, say this is first hole through hole this is second through this is first this is second through hole right so first hole will be seen from its top first will be seen from its top this is this by default at the center if nothing is given this is at the center so first find out the center of this rectangle from the top view and draw a circle so this is center line and three and three line and draw the first circle so this is first circle visible from the top right now second circle will be seen from the left side view second circle will be seen from the left side view this is center for second draw this circle right so you have drawn two circles now if you see its front so this is front without the holes now there are two holes right if you remember the front view of any cylinder is a rectangle front view of any rectangle is a uh, uh, any cylinder is a rectangle and the obvious is a circle. Now, if there is any hole here, then you have to draw the middle lines over here and middle lines over here. This is 20 mm apart. Due to these two holes, you have to draw middle lines 20 mm equals to the diameter. This is first circle, middle line. This is second circle, middle line. These are the hidden lines due to the drilled holes equals to the diameter. So this is cylinder. Its front view, a rectangle, top view, a circle. So this diameter equals to the this one. Width. Right, so the, due to these two through holes, you have to draw the hidden lines. Right, so this is very important. Hidden lines are the lines which actually exist but not viewable from the certain angle or view. Actually, they are existing. If you do not draw the hidden lines, that is the front view of the first case. But now due to the through holes, you have to draw the hidden lines. Hidden lines are the lines which actually exist, but not viewable from certain direction. This is very important, hidden lines. So hidden lines will be represented by a dash of 3 mm with a cap of 1 mm. Dash of 3 mm, right? How to draw hidden line? This is 3 mm dash with a gap of 1 mm, right? This is 3 mm. Three mm with a gap of 1 mm. How to draw the hidden line? This line is called dashed line. Dashed line. Dash of 3 mm with a gap of 1 mm. This is dash line, hidden line. Any doubt in hidden lines? So, hidden
data lines are those lines which actually exist but not viewable from certain direction will be represented by dash line header lines will be represented by dash line dash of 3 mm with a gap of 1 mm right so this is the concept of header line now tell me its top view will be like this or i have to do some changes in its top view this will be like this or i have to draw some other lines in its top tell me top view is okay or i have to do some changes in this top view. So its top view is not like this. You see, its front view. Then due to this first circle, I have drawn this header lines. Due to second, I have drawn header lines here, right? So I have to draw the header lines for this elevation portion due to the second circle. So for on top view, I have to draw these two header lines. 20 mm apart. Say yes or no. So its top view will not like this. I have to do some changes. What some changes? I have to draw the hidden lines. Yes. Hidden lines are missing. So you have to draw hidden lines here also. 3 mm dash line. 3 mm dash line. You have to draw on this top view also. Right. now for its left side view again due to this first i have to draw the hidden lines to its left side view also so for its left side view this will be the view with hidden lines hidden lines are important right now finally do the dimensioning just right here Fifteen on uh, this as right here sixty this as fifty this as forty. Fifty, fifty, sixty, fifteen, and this diameter twenty. For second hole, and this is for first hole. And right here, five, twenty. This is with. It's dimensioning, right? So this is its complete front, top, and left view. Any doubt? Right. So this is the concept of header lines also, right? So we have done for simple case, inclined case, circular, and Hidden line. Right. So these are the four cases in orthographic projection. Right. Now, for the concept of hidden lines, again, I will modify this object for the more understanding of the hidden lines. See here.
Now, if I modify this object to this, see this. I remove this center portion like this, and also from its base like this. If I remove these slots from its base and elevation like this i have modified this object for more understanding of the hidden lines so this is 15 depth of 15 and this has 10 again this is 10 and this is 50 so I have put a slot, two slots of 10 by 15 at its base and its elevation. So first I will draw its front, then top, then left side view. Front, top and left. This is its front. This is its... is its top and this is its side view. left side view drawn on right of front right without any slots these are the front top and side view without slots now this is first slot first slot will be visible at its top this is top, so this is that first slot. This is first slot. Second slot will be visible from its right side view. This is right side. Right, now comes the hidden lines. So hidden lines will be seen from front. So this is a depth. So this one hidden line at its base due to first slot and one hidden line at its elevation 15 mm below 15 mm is given right so for front changes are like this hidden line one hidden line here at its base another at its top right so two hidden lines for the two slots. In earlier case, when there is circle, for circle there are two lines, but for this slot, there will be only one hidden line. Depth, 15 mm depth. Now for its top, any doubt in this front with hidden line, any doubt in front view. Is any doubt in its front view with hidden line? Now for its top view. There will be, uh, now see very carefully, from top view now, from top, for this elevation, you will see one surface, two surface, three surface. Now, that single surface is divided into three surfaces. This is say A, B and C means you have to divide this elevation into three surfaces by drawing two horizontal straight lines. Now for its 
top view. You have to draw. For its top view, you have to draw to horizontal line due to that slot. So this is surface A, surface B, surface C, three surfaces. Any doubt in its top with three surfaces? Due to that slot, that surface is divided into three parts. Three surfaces. Any doubt? Say yes or no. Right? So this is its top view completed without any edit. From top, you will not have to draw any hidden. Right? Now from its side view, this slot is visible. Now due to this slot, again, this surface, which was single earlier, now this is divided again into one, two, and three surfaces. Right, that surface is again divided into three surfaces. This surface, which was earlier only one surface, now that surface is divided into three surfaces. At the last, you will do the dimensioning. Now, tell me any doubt. This is complete solution. With hidden lines will be seen from its front view only. So, this is its top. This is its side. So at the last, again, we will do the dimensioning as this as 50, this as 15, this as again 15, this as 10. This as 15, right? This as 40, this as 60. Right, so this is your solution with the slots. Right, so hidden lines will be shown by dash line, dash of 3 mm with a gap of 1 mm. Hidden line. Right, so this is all for today for orthographic projection. So this is all for orthographic projection. So first with simple problems, second one are for inclined, third one for circular ones, and fourth with these hidden lines. So this will complete your third unit. Tomorrow we will start with sectioning. Any doubt, you can ask. Any doubt in orthographic projection. And today I also upload some reading material on orthographic projection. Into this live, LPU live and also on uh, UMS. I will upload some lecture notes, some uh, solutions, problem solutions, with solutions. CA, there is, you, you have to submit only one assignment. There will be a CA, only one assignment. You have to submit only one assignment. I will give you, I think, uh, this is your third week, now. Third week, I will give you the assignment from the whole syllabus.
Okay, you have to submit by end of fourth week. I th I will give you ten one week or ten days time. Only one, huh? There will be only one exam, na? End term exam. Uh, um, you have to submit CA uh, as single assignment. And at the last, you will do the uh, that uh, end term exam. You have to appear in the end term exam when you came to the university. Right. If any information comes, I will let you know about the latest information. Fine, sir. Thank you, sir. You can check your UMS for the latest updates. Right? Any information regarding your uh, when you have to come on to university for your second year and whatever is your term. Right? So, okay for today. We have completed uh, around three units. Tomorrow we will start with fourth unit. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.